Coquit Island is an RSPB reserve about one mile off Amble in Northumberland. It is a home to a large colony of nesting seabirds and especially protected under European law for birds such as the Rosia tern, one of the rarest nesting seabirds. Coquit now holds 90% of the UK's Rosia tern population. Like many places in Northumberland, the reserve is rich in human history and has been occupied since the 7th century, initially as a monastic cell, later a lighthouse station, and now by the RSBB wardens who live on the island through the spring and summer. The present lighthouse was built in 1841 on top of this very much earlier tower, which is listed in a record of the early 15th century. The decision to place a light on Coquette Island was taken in 1839. In the October of that year, the Newcastle Journal proudly announced that the lighthouse so long contemplated is immediately to be erected. The light was first lit on the 1st of October 1841. The original occulting mechanism was replaced in 1976 by a system of lights powered by electricity generated on the island. Birds are everywhere on Coquette, and the plateau and gardens are home to several hundred nesting eater ducks. For this reason, the island is designated as a sanctuary, and the public are not allowed to land. In May, at the start of the breeding season, there is a constant activity over this nesting colony of black-headed gulls and noisy squabbling day and night. The gulls build nests on nettle stems and seaweed among the nettle beds and in the small shiny bays at the foot of the low cliffs. Puffins, the four species of tern, and the eater are the other most common birds on the island, but there are also herring gulls and lesser black-backed gulls, fulmars, shell ducks, oyster catchers, and rock pipits. Kittiwakes can also be spotted on Coquette. A gentle-looking, medium-sized gull with a small yellow bill and a dark eye. It has a grey back and is white underneath. Its legs are short and black. In flight, the black wingtips show no white, unlike other gulls, and look as if they have been dipped in ink. The population is declining in some areas, perhaps due to a shortage of sand eels. After breeding, birds move out into the Atlantic, where they spend the winter. Puffins, or sea parrots, arrive on Coquette Island in March, forming large rafts of birds offshore and gradually moving onto the island to prospect for suitable nest sites. Puffins are superb flyers, not in the air, but underwater, where their short stubby wings propel them at astonishing speed in pursuit of fish. A puffin can bring back a catch of as many as eight sand eels in its large bill to present as a gift to its mate or to feed to its young. It is an unmistakable bird with its black back and white underparts and distinctive black head with large pale cheeks and a tall, flattened, brightly colored bill. Its comical appearance is heightened by its red and black eye markings and bright orange legs. Used as a symbol for books and other items, this clown among seabirds is one of the world's favorite birds. With half of the UK population at only a few sites, it is an amber list species. The adult birds return to the colonies in late March or early April and initially spend a long time on the sea in large flocks called rafts. The birds defend the nesting site in its immediate surround and use it in subsequent years Puffins lay only a single egg. In late April or early May, both parents incubate it for 36 to 45 days and they share the feeding duties until the chick is ready to fledge. 
Adult birds desert their young shortly before they are ready to leave the nest. The timing of the breeding in the puffin colonies is highly synchronized and so the departure of all adults takes place within a few days. The young birds leave their nest burrow and make their way to the sea, normally under cover of darkness to avoid predators. Puffins usually reach breeding age at 5 to 6 years old and often live for 20 years. The puffin is one of the commonest seabirds in Northern Europe. While the largest breeding populations are found in Iceland and Norway, the British Isles hold about 10% of the world's puffins. The puffin is included on the amber list of the UK birds of conservation concern. It is very vulnerable to adverse changes in the environment because its breeding population is concentrated on small number of sites. There have also been large population declines over much of its European range. The main threat to puffins is the changes in distribution and numbers of small fish, while ground predators introduced to breeding colonies and pollution are also serious hazards. For instance, oil leaked from the Torrey Canyon in 1967 killed 85% of the French puffins. Because of their low reproductive rates, puffins can take decades to recover from this kind of incident. Because the puffin is so widespread, the only realistic conservation measures are sustainable exploitation of the seas, a reduction in incidence of marine pollution, and preventing ground predators reaching nesting colonies. 